Syria's Kurds are a distinct group and they have inhabited lands close to the Turkish and Iraqi borders for decades. And large numbers of them have been subjected to systematic discrimination. Now, one of their main factions, the Democratic Union Party, the PYD, began to establish a foothold in the north of the country in the early stages of the Syrian conflict, which started in 2011. This as Bashar al-Assad's forces withdrew to battle the anti-government uprising elsewhere. An affiliated militia, the People's Protections Unit, the YPG, then secured the region. Their control was concentrated in three predominantly Kurdish regions, home to roughly two million Kurds. They were Qamishli, Kobane and Afrin, all in the north of the country. And so Kurdish-led governing bodies were set up in those areas and Syrian flags were replaced with their own. At the time, the group opted to stay in the shadows, neither fighting nor supporting Assad's regime. Instead, they were trying to defend and expand their own territory. The area of YPG influence continued to grow, especially as the fighters joined the US-led coalition against the Islamic State group, becoming the spearhead of the Syrian Democratic Forces, or SDF. SDF influence widened to Manbij and Raqqa, and by 2017, the Islamist militants were defeated in both cities. Their biggest victory was in 2014 in Kobani, which raised some concerns for the Turkish authorities. Ankara feared that Syrian Kurds on their southern border were and continue to gain too much de facto autonomy. No dash, no dash. In the US, however, the group had found a reliable partner, but that is now under question. Since early August, the US and Turkey have been working together on a series of confidence-building measures in a 75-mile-long strip of that 300-mile border area. American-backed Kurdish forces, for their part, have pulled back several miles and destroyed fortifications in that region.